Shadi Arc, Vermouth Arc, Kido Arc, Bourbon Arc, Realm Arc. Although Detective Conan's main storyline now has five major arcs, Shinichi and Ran have only had three romantic storylines before. In the New York arc, Ran began to have a crush on Shinichi. And in the London arc, Shinichi confessed to Ran. And finally coming to the most important arc of the romantic storyline, Kiyomizu Dera, which is also the main storyline, The Scarlet School Trip. Anime Episode 927 Tenten High School is preparing to go to Kiyomizu Dera for a school trip. In order to participate in this school trip, Conan asked Haibara for the APTX 4869 antidote, changing back to Kuru Shinichi for the 8th time, and participating in this trip with Moriran, Suzuki Sonoko, and Seda Masumi. Because of the need to stay overnight, and the current APTX 4869 antidote not being able to last for 24 hours, Conan also invited Hattori over to ask him to pretend to be himself during the stay. Then, the next morning, after taking antidote, he changed back to Kuru Shinichi and began to investigate an incident with other detectives. Finally, after solving the case, Shinji asked Ran regarding his confession in London and wanted to know her answer. Although before the kiss, Shinichi had to leave because of the answer's limit, in subsequent emails, Shinichi and Ran formally confirmed their relationship as a couple. Then, Shinichi requested the teacher to have the students keep the things that happened to him confidential. Sadamasumi was also convinced that Conan had a temporary antidote for that drug and began to look for the developer of the antidote. By the way, because Shinichi and Ran's emotions progressed too quickly, it led to Hattori becoming anxious to confess to Kazuha in a more romantic way than Shinichi, which caused him to almost kiss the Kaito kid disguised as Kazuha. If Conan did not arrive in time, then Toyama Kazuha and Nakamori Aoko would have been NTR'd by that guy. Although Shinichi had asked his classmates to keep his matter secret, the photos of Shinichi when he solved the case were taken by reporters and posted on the internet. They were seen by the three rum suspects, and Wakasarumi also held a list of the APTX 4869 victims in her hands. In order to hide the news that Kuru Shinichi is still alive, the Kuru couple teamed up with Hattori Heiji to fool the reporters through a high school student who looks similar to Kuru Shinichi. But it's not completely full rum. He sent an email to Bourbon, asking him to provide information about Kuru Shinichi, and at the end of the email, adding his catchphrase, Time is money. This time's incident brought the Kuru couple back to Japan, formally joining the main storyline, and correcting a previous deduction error made by Conan and Chiwichi. Asaka Ram, these eight characters, should represent a single name, Karasuma, who is the founder of the black organization that disappeared 40 years ago, the first boss, Karasuma Renya. Anime episode 952, in order to investigate clues related to Kuru Shinichi, Furiare copied the key of the Kuru house from Moriran and sneaked into the Kuru's house late at night. There, he met Akashiuchi, who had removed his disguise, and before the two started the gunfight, the Kuru couple stopped Furiare and invited him to drink a cup of tea. Anime episode 984 The cell phone of Morifushi Hiromitsu, who committed suicide four years ago, was sent by Furiare to their former classmate, Date Wataru, hoping that he would give it to Morifushi Hiromitsu's older brother, Morifushi Takaaki. The sender was not written on an envelope, but a circle is drawn to indicate that the sender was zero, which is the code name of Furiare in the Japanese public security. Only the five people who graduated from the police academy and some members of the Japanese public security recognize this code name. But because Date Wataru died in a car accident a year ago, plus the recipient's name also being confused, the letter was put on hold for a year. Until now, Morifushi Takaki finally received the envelope, and from the damage on the phone, he could tell that the phone belonged to his brother who had disappeared. It was speculated that his brother might have been killed while working undercover in a certain organization, and the circle reminded him of a friend his brother met when he was a child, who was nicknamed Zero. Anime Episode 1003 Mori Kogoro takes his two apprentices, Amaratoru, Wakita Kanenori, and Konan, to a villa in Nagano Prefecture to investigate a case. On the train, Wakita Kanenori has been constantly saying hints with hidden messages towards Amaratoru, as if hoping that he could see through things so that he could distinguish who betrayed him. After arriving at the villa, they encountered another murder case. 
Because of the snowstorm, the Nagano police could not rush to the crime scene in time and could only communicate with Morikogoro through mobile phone video chat. While in the video, Morifushi Takaki saw Amoto Toru, a biracial guy who looked a lot like his younger brother's childhood friend. On the other hand, Conan took advantage while he was alone with Amoto Toru and asked him about Rum's message. And Amoto Toru only told him that Rum was a very impatient person. When Wakata Kananori saw Amoto Toru and Conan teaming up to solve the case, he told Conan that he was really looking forward to how he would grow up. When Morifushi Takaki saw the biracial guy and remembered his nickname was Zero, he speculated that his brother's envelope was sent by this guy named Furiare. Then, Kurara Hyoe from Tokyo called, saying that he wanted to talk to Morifushi, and the content of this call is still unknown. After the case was over, Nagano's police rushed to the villa, and Morifushi Takaki also met his brother's friend. But the guy who was supposed to be Furiare called himself Amara Toru. So he pretended to shake hands with Morikogoro next to Amara Toru and greeted Amara Toru indirectly. Finally, when he left, he used cryptic words to say Rum's catchphrase, time is money. At this point, the anime's main storyline has been introduced, and now we come to the main storyline of the recent manga chapters. Manga chapter 1032. Wakasarumi, after smelling the scent of blood, the scene of Hanada Koji's death appeared in her mind. After hearing the word of luck charm, she also remembered what Hanada Koji had told her before he died, and her right eye began to appear abnormal, and she fell down. Konan suspected that she couldn't see anything with her right eye. Then, in order to solve the case, Konan tranquilized Yamamoto Misao and used his voice to solve the case. This scene happened to be seen by Wakasarumi, who was on the side, and she seemed to have already known that this is what Konan does. Manga Chapter 1035 Habarai noticed that the girl named Setamasumi has been continuously watching her, while Setamasumi also wanted to obtain the antidote formula from Haibara and began to test her. At the same time, Akashiuchi on one hand wants to protect Haibara's real identity from being known by more people, and on the other hand wants to protect his sister Setamasumi, wanting her not to be too involved in matters related to the black organization. However, during his conversation with Setamasumi, Shiwichi discovered that the word she used to describe her mother's body shape was in the past tense, and inferred that the mother Setameri was still alive, and it was likely that she had taken the same APTX 4869 drug as Konan had. So that's why she has been pestering Haibara and asking for clues about the antidote. And Conan, after recognizing that their mother was a British person, thought of the phrase, little sister from outside the territory, which means the UK Secret Intelligence Service, also called the MI6. Successfully cracking the test that Sedamedi herself gave to the person, potentially as an assistant. At the same time, the catchphrase 50-50 of the man named Okiasuburu reminds Masumi of her elder brother Akashiuchi, who had passed away. Manga Chapter 1043 Conan began to formally investigate the clues to the murder of Hanada Koji. Knowing that Hanada Koji was the son of a wealthy family before he was murdered 17 years ago. After being murdered, Akashugichi came to the Hanada family and became an adopted child, changing his name to Hanada Shugichi, becoming a famous shogi player. Manga Chapter 1047 Conan concealed from Haibara one of the antidotes she had given him for the school trip, and this antidote was discovered by Seda Masumi, who wanted to steal it. It can be known here that the capsule color of the APTX 4869 drug is red and white, but the capsule color of the antidote invented by Haibara is blue and white. In the end, Setamasumi still failed to get the antidote from Konan. Manga Chapter 1051 Furiare and Wakasarumi make contact and find the shogi pawn that Wakasarumi had always kept in her pocket. And Furiare also remembered from the scratch on the shogi pawn, a pawn that disappeared after the death of a Japanese genius shogi player, Haneda Koji, mentioned in a cold case file training, on the two pawns. The scratches on the two shogi pieces are almost identical. Then, Wakasarumi locked Furiare in the basement in order to regain the shogi piece, taking advantage of the darkness around her, knocked out Furiare, and took the shogi piece back. Some people may be surprised here. Why is Furiare, who was almost as powerful as Akashiuchi, defeated so easily? Well, in fact, a few years ago, the author published a picture to rank the combat strengths of all the powerful main characters appearing in Detective Conan. The strongest one at the top is, of course, Kyogoku Makoto. A little weaker than him is Okita Soji at A+. Both of them are the strongest as determined by the author, and the author also said that there will be no stronger characters than Kyogoku Makoto. While Furiare and Akashuchi are both at A, even if Wakasarumi has an A plus in combat power, it's impossible to instantly knock out Furiare. So the most reasonable possibility is due to environmental factors, 
every fighting environment of Wakasarumi is almost always in the dark of night, which may be related to her right eye. Speaking of Wakasarumi, she is one of the rum suspects, and rum is the alcoholic beverage that pirates often like to drink in the past. Speaking of pirates, there will be an image of a blindfold covering an eye. The reason why they had to blindfold their eye is not that their eyes are injured or blind, but because they want to protect one eye from the sun's light on the deck, so that when they enter under the deck, they can quickly adapt to the dark environment. This setting is very similar to the plot in Detective Conan. Furiare from a bright environment suddenly enters a dark environment, so he temporarily can't see anything, while Wakasarumi can easily see through her right eye. So Furiare being knocked out is normal. According to the speculation, Wakasarumi's right eye is not an artificial eye, but is similar to wearing a kind of cosmetic contact lenses, leaving the right eye in a state of being unable to see. And after the end of this chapter, Habara seemed to notice that it was her teacher who knocked out the guy and took something from him. At this point, the beginning plot of the rum arc has almost been introduced, and the author has given the second in command of the Black Organization enough mystery. Just solely for the pre-climax, I've almost used two videos to introduce the plot. In any case, what follows is the rum arc's first climax, the Umizaru Island arc.